smart boy. No All right, let's go to Khan. Look busy. Put posing for the camera. I can't. You should have known this was coming when you put that. Put that camera. No, don't take it down. I like that. Khan. Khan technology. There's no resources. Feel free to communicate your content. Y'all, you y'all like to have a long here. list of pros. What did you put? I'm trying to stay positive. Okay. Um, Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I said sufficient resources and activities are provided, at least in this building. I feel. Yeah, yeah, you got you. Yeah, you got you. Um, and the students are friendly with one another. Is there all that? I don't want to be in the camera. All right. Oh. Hey, Coach Dave. What's up, everybody? It is Mr. Coach B. It is Thursday. I'm still hanging out late. Everyone had left me. I am here all by my lonesome. So sad. No one stayed with me. They left me here all by myself. <laughs> but I'm alright. I'm a thug. I'll be alright. No, I'm not really a thug. Um, I sent a couple emails. I have been playing catch up. I got some student interns, y'all, from uh, a university nearby. I won't say the name. I don't know if I can, but. Um, they're from a university nearby. They are social work majors and they are working with me um, because uh, we really needed the help. I needed the help and uh, my instructional leader thought it would be a good idea to have them and she worked overtime. Shout out to uh, Miss T. That's what we're going to call her. I don't know if I can say her name on here. But anyway, um, she really looked out because I needed the support and um, they have been a lifesaver. They've been filing my student work, grading papers, making answer keys, doing stuff that I have been trying to get done since before Christmas break and they have came in and done it. This was their first week. They came in and just got me all caught up. So yeah, I'm going through that and make sure they did it right. Then I'm going to enter the grades into the computer uh, for my own records to measure my kids' growth. Um, because I really want to look at how we're doing. Because one thing I learned this week is that just because your kids are working doesn't mean they're being productive. And I think we need to forget that as teachers. That, you know, you're teaching and you're grading, but those numbers on the paper do not indicate you know what they're doing. I wonder if I have an example here. Um, like in this case, let me find I'm gonna look for I can't find it. Alright, so in this case, these are vocabulary words. So there's a big old check because the child did wonderful. You know, there's no name on here because they didn't do that great because notice how the namespace is empty. If you're watching this and you're one of my kids, I need y'all to make sure y'all put your name on your cotton picker paper. I don't understand. Y'all know I'm going to take five points and y'all put it on there. Put the name on the paper. So my day was good. Um, today, Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday, I spent all of the early portions of the day. Um, as our teachers arrived, we would meet. And for the first time, I pulled folk into my classroom. Normally, we're in another building, our main building. And we go meet. I meet with them there. Um, but it's always with people in there. And, and there's a lot of commotion. Not that anyone's being unprofessional or crazy or anything. Uh, but, you know, it's just everyone's doing their own thing. And, and they're in their groove you know so we're all just all, every wheel is in motion you know um, so I, I thought it would be best to bring them down to my classroom first of all I wanted them to see my classroom culture how I have it set up and I also just wanted that intimate moment with those team of teachers uh, so that we can talk and um, we did that and I, we have two new teachers I work with and it was incredible uh, they, they elaborated on um, their need to be flexible. There was a situation where they were not able to get into classrooms and they were in an alternative area and it was two or an alternate area and there were two teachers, two classes in one area and they were kind of discouraged like oh my god 
this is not going to work. It's too many kids in one area, and I can't manage mine, and she's trying to manage hers. And um, so I build on the factor of team teaching and pinging off of one another, uh, which is what I did in elementary ed. You know, we would, you know, play on one another to kind of get the attention of the student and turn a lesson that may have been designed for one for just our class into a team teaching um, which is really cool because um, it allows student-centered learning which is what I'm all about to take place I want the students to lead the learning process so me and my colleague here are going to kind of support you guys through it and we talked about how to do that and then they came back and they were just like fired up like uh, first of all one is going to school to be a teacher the other one you know for what I understand doesn't have any teaching experience and he's a um, neophyte you know brand new and she has this is her first real class class um, on her own so both parties are really new so they came back after we had our meeting and we talked and they left kind of like a oh, coach be I don't know just gonna work it, is it gonna work um, she was you know very much like I'm, I, I tried it and, 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 and it just wasn't it didn't work. It was just so much, and I, I need a classroom. And I just, if, they, if I'm going to be effective, I need a classroom. So they they sat through my little lesson. I could tell they were, it was. I I thought to be honest, they was going in one ear out the other. But they came back and they were like, Coach B, I did what you said. This happened. And this happened. And this happened. And this happened. And I was like, like, oh my god. You know, it was amazing to see for me. It was just cool to see teachers get excited about teaching. That man, that is the best thing in America to me. Seeing teachers get excited about the teaching process. That's what you want. Because if you want kids, okay, let me school y'all on another secret. If you want kids to be exciting, to be excited about learning, you have to get excited about them wanting to be involved in their learning. So if I want my child to be involved in my class, I need to get excited about the fact that they're in my class. And they need to feel that excitement. You know, it needs to be the very pulse of my class. It is the heartbeat of what I do. My kids come in and work. We have teachers here um, who have told me, you know, my kids are not going to do it, so I don't worry about it. It's just, you know, we kind of, we just, I, I kind of flow with them. You know, instruction is getting done. Um, but it's student-led, someone is calling me, but um, student, it, it is student-led, but it's student-led to the point where there's not enough instruction going on, in my opinion. Um, so I constantly tell my colleagues that, you know, first of all, you have to remember that you're the adult and you're the teacher, and you have to set the, the tone, you know, the tone, the culture, the rules, the operation of the room, all come from me as the educator. So I have to make sure that my kids know that and that tone is set early on so that I can be effective in what I'm doing. Otherwise, if they're in charge, they may not do anything. Um, so I want them, I have to be advantageous and get them excited about learning. Otherwise, it's just there will be no learning going on. Because leave it up to a child, they probably won't even go to school. You know, that's like asking, ladies asking your husband, do you feel like cutting the grass? Or guys, we ask our, you know, the girl, do you feel like going shopping? You know, if you give them an option, we're probably going to opt out. That's what we all do. So kids are no different. So you have to make sure that you are constantly encouraging them and getting them excited about what you want them to do. And, you know, I was reminded of that this week, and it was just incredible to see it work like it did. <laughs> That's what I'm all about. You know, that's what I live for. So, yeah, it's been an incredible week. Um, it is now Thursday, Fridays. I don't have a class. I spend that time um, doing my professional learning coordinator job of getting ready for any meetings we may have. or also playing catch up and trying to um, research our teachers. So I'm, I'm learning our, my crew. I have an incredible crew. And one thing I love about being a PLC is I'm not their supervisor. Excuse me, I'm their equal, and um, I'm I'm already seeing how when I was in ed leadership, uh, when I led and oversaw a group, uh, I can see the difference between how I'm received and perceived uh, by the people here, and I just love it because I'm not in charge, so I can't say you know it's not like oh you're wrong, you're gonna get written up, but that's just not right, you know. Um, we can build together and mold and shape and it's like a team effort and I'm all about relationship and I'm all about teamwork and I just love it and the people here are incredible. We have the best team. I mean, we, uh, we're we working some things out. We had a staff meeting and our instructional leader was telling us like um, we need to, there's some areas we gonna fix and 
I love the fact that her and our director can be so hard on us and they can really correct us. Uh, but you know, the heart of it is that they want to see every child succeed and they believe it comes from us, um, not them. And previous administrators that I have served under, uh, it's kind of that effect of y'all not gonna make me look bad. You know, I've heard that in meetings. I've also served under people who were, it's all about them. You know, me, 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 I'm doing this. I want this, I expect them. But with them, it's us or it's y'all. They'll, you know, you guys need to do this because you guys are responsible for this. You guys and make that investment and you guys are the ones they remember and they love and they care for and it's up to you guys to make sure you make that difference so to hear that and to have leaders who know that and who constantly encourage the importance of hey i matter as a teacher and you're supporting the fact that i'm your teacher and you're helping me out and you want the very best of me um so that we can get the best from them and you're standing behind me to have a director and an instructional leader who who that's the culture of who they are uh, that makes me love being here because you don't get that anywhere else and I know that some of you work for schools where that doesn't happen um, and I'm sorry that you work for those kinds of people but I have to toot our horn we have a great I mean even our family service I, I pick on her I call her the family life science lady I don't know her job title it slips in my mind uh, but she works with our young people and um, for youth leadership and the job that she does with those people. In fact, we're recruiting mentors right now. If y'all want to mentor, y'all should definitely hit the link at the bottom. Um, I'll give y'all her information or at least our website so y'all can go there and um, register with her and sign up. Because this, if you're in the North Carolina, um, Harnett County area, it's a great, you know, it's a really great program. But seeing her work with the kids, and the difference they make, oh my God, it, it makes me want to get in my car every day and get here, you know, when I get here, um, you know, whatever time it may be. I often come early because there's so much to do, but I'm encouraged to because you see that everybody here is amazing. We don't have, none of our administrators are sorry. And she isn't a, an administrator per se, but in my book she is because she leads me and several others. Uh, but to see them distinctly, um, and even their support staff, like our secretaries, our admin assistants, you know, even our custodians are incredible. You know, I just love that. And I'm, I'm saying all of this to paint the picture of it is a whole school approach. It is a whole program approach. Wherever you're serving, whatever you're doing, it takes every part to move and it takes all of us to be effective. And we get so busy. Um, trying to live and trying to do stuff and trying to make ends meet or you know, um, as, as an administrator, you know, trying to get stuff done um, when I was in leadership, you know, looking at finances, doing budgets and so many other things that other folk come to you about. Um, you get busy doing your job that you forget it is your passion. And here um, they've reminded me um, as someone who's been in education for a while, they've reminded me of my passion. And I think it's important that you work for those kind of people who can pull from your passion. I'm better now because of them. They've made me better. So give us some folk. It's important that you get around good and good people, good folk um, who can build upon the skill set that you have, who value you as an educator and ask them, you know, how can I be better? What am I doing wrong? Pull from them. I wouldn't recommend doing it for everybody because everybody ain't in the right mind. But if you know somebody like like I'm saying, our folk here who are who you can trust and who have good hearts and who share your vision and um, have that common that common ground that you all share morally um, in your professional uh, agenda, you should definitely get with those folks and and build with them so that you can build your kids. Because at the end of the day, we're not just teachers, we're nation builders. So remember that. I'm gone. I have work to do. See y'all later.